Welcome to One Mind Zen. Tonight's Dharma talk is given by Hengdal Chita. The substance of your mind is neither polluted nor pure. Calm and complete, it is equal in ordinary beings and sages. All realms of experience and all states of being are only manifestations of your own mind. Do the moon reflected in water or images in a mirror have origination or extinction? And, and that's this it. is to certify that on the first day of June in the year 2024, Briar Windwalker, original name, Hengdal Chita, Buddhist name, translation is Realize Action, is certified as a Dharma holder at One Mind Zen Collective in the East Mountain Sanghas. And you have all of our signatures and uh, our seals. So now it's time to hear from our new Dharma holder. In uh, typical fashion, which will totally coincide with uh, my, my brief remarks here, everything is going wrong today. So uh, we, have, we have had uh, my Wi-Fi cut out on my tablet. So I'm doing this on my phone with a split screen with the ceremony and a little tiny image of you all. The landscaping guy showed up to deliver gravel into my yard and the mute button is not working. So the Dharma is, is ongoing and complete. When, um, when I took my priest precepts, I started playing around with, uh, you know, what, what my sanghas and whatever would be and, and words. And, and it's kind of the ongoing joke and paradox of putting words to something which is wordless. And so uh, combining several things, one of which is that, that I adopted, uh, one mountain Zen kind of in just the OMZ ongoing uh naming convention but when i when i spell it out uh in, in my notebook where i've been kind of working on some things for a number of years about american practice of zen something that um many of us have discussed that uh tyson and i wrote about years ago and and young jen and i talked about in in google I write it out in Sanskrit uh, and it's much longer and it wouldn't work in, in a title of a Sangha and would sound presumptuous probably, but my Sanskrit is Ekayana Sumero Jhana. One path, great mountains in. And again, it's, it's done kind of intentionally tongue in cheek as, as a, as a paradox, for example, Sumero, there are five peaks. So is it one mountain or five mountains? Yes. I've studied with several schools. Are they different schools or one school? Yes. What is Ekayana, the one path? When there are many paths? Yes. So what, what does that mean? It's tongue in cheek, it's poking fun at itself, but it's also reaching towards something with the Dharma that is the supreme vehicle, which is that the path, the one path, the many paths is the path that we're walking at any given moment in any given day, including broken Wi-Fi and a gravel delivery. And there, there have been times when I've really wanted to start an actual physical sangha, you know, set up a temple, set up a meditation garden. And the joke is that for me, practice is often a hotel room, the seat of my company car, a park I'm walking in, 
and my life wherever that happens to take me the path at this point that i'm walking is that path and it's pointless for me to try no matter how much i might appreciate it to follow the path that dayan is taking right now with a physical sangha or the path that my sister Melintha, who I'm in, is, is following with being able to travel the world and go to retreats and, and do these great things. And so ultimately, the one path, whichever many paths there might be in the Dharma, is the path that you are walking at any given moment, whether it is choked by vines and briars or clear, whether there's a map or not, whether there's a guide or not, a milepost or not walking up the side of the mountain in the in the famous 10 bulls the 10th bull the one path is in the world is simply returning to the world and as we talked last week after after some discussion the joke is often that what i'm asked to do to keep the dharma alive is not necessarily buddhist which means that it's buddhist it's the bodhisattva path and so one of my my personal favorites is the sandokai and there's a verse in there if you don't understand the way right before you how will you know the path as you walk progress is not a matter of far or near but if you're confused mountains and rivers block your way and if you're not confused, I guess you just keep walking up the mountain and see where it goes.